Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this reactive sand system. This is also based on the same stuff that we implemented for uh, reactive snow or snow deformation and the distance field place field based uh, reactive grass system as well. So here we are just modifying the same systems and fine tuning to match uh, sand landscape like a desert so here we have two layers a hard surface which is like a asphalt layer and a sand layer so here you can see on sand we can see the carved path by footsteps which deforms the landscape but it's not happening on this hard asphalt surface so yeah this is what we are going to work on today and in addition to walking for player yeah, the same system works for this vehicle as well yes and before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done in my channel from the patron page to the date there are over 2000 videos and for each video project files are available and once you become a member you can access everything also the full playlist where i implemented this system from scratch is available in my channel here are the links uh, i leave the link to both these both playlists in the description and now let's get back to the today's episode okay so now that we have worked on snow i want to make a sand reactive sand system so basically it would be same but we just want to see uh, we just want to change the texture and also maybe change some parameters like how the sand reacts to the footsteps like the distance and maybe depth kind of things for this reaction so first let's duplicate this map and let's name it sand and open that and here uh, let me open fab and download some sand textures so sand this might work add to project okay now it's here uh, I have this landscape snow let me duplicate this and landscape sand and open that and I'll assign this to the landscape so right now it's just a snow but here let's change textures now this is actually the other layer the hard surface layer so I'll leave it as it is and for instead of this snow i choose this sand this is the base texture and here is the ORM the normal The other texture so i don't need subsurface because this is sand so i'll change the shared in model to default rate and apply yeah now we got sand so let me play so this is too deep for sand 
that is first thing I want to resolve for snow it might be fine but for sand I don't think we need such deep trails so and also we may not need this curved shape we might need more of a linear shape for the valley so let's go here the displacement let's add a comment here displacement so this is called snow maybe we should call it sand no yeah this all right it's okay all right but we might that is fine for now so here do i need to change this let me just reduce this and see what happens i don't think i want to change that actually yeah see and also i don't get any kind of a deformation now that's because i think i broke the layer system so let's go to landscape and yeah break it break it and create oh, oh. wait 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 So I should use the same name. Yes, yeah, sir. No, we may not have a layer. Paint. Now I should be able to. Yeah. Let me make it large. And paint sand everywhere. I don't need a hard surface right now. Check. But still, I don't see deformation. Why? Yeah. Give data. seems correct yeah okay now i got it so yeah as i said first thing is i want to make them less deep so for that maybe here let's add a crap To a parameter max depth right, something like point four you see we don't have such a deep deformation so it's less compared to snow which is nice that actually more suitable for sand
Okay, what else we can do? So if I go to this level, maybe I wonder what happens if I get rid of this power. More linear shape would work for sand better. Yeah, I think so. This looks more like sand. Okay. One more thing. This range. What if I increase this? Uh, let me decrease this further and see how it looks. Shift that took effect. Let me apply this. This is also changed now, not that. Okay. I think this is a uh, bit. So I painted a hard surface as well. So here just as for the hard surface, I added a asphalt texture. So here now you can see sand is deforming, but the asphalt part is not deforming. Okay. So yeah. I think we are good to good for this episode. And uh, let me quickly check the vehicle as well. It should work without requiring any changes. Yeah. It's also working. So yeah, thanks for watching. As always, updated budget files will be available for download. Here in the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.